Hello, hello, hello. I'm so excited to see you guys today. I have not been live in a few weeks now, so we're getting back to it. I really want to talk about Canva. So many of my students in my program, Ditch the Degree Design School, start out with Canva. That's where they found their love of design. That's where they're really comfortable designing graphics to begin with. Maybe they started because their company needed a flyer made or they run a business or they're just sort of interested and are creative and are interested in the field. Canva's a really, really, really great place to start. Um, I, I love the tool for what it's good for. Um, hi, say hello as you join. Um, I love Canva for what it's good for, which is like whipping out quick graphics, especially if you're like a business owner or something. But if you are really wanting to take this graphic design thing to the next level, you cannot be designing in Canva. Like you have to up level, we need to upgrade, and I wanna help you do that. So um, Canva is great for easy, simple graphics. It's great for utilizing quick um, like templates. It's awesome for stuff like that. However, if you're designing or like if you're designing graphics for clients, if you're designing, if you want to really step into like a professional graphic design field, if you're a VA and you want to start specializing in graphic design, you need to be learning an Adobe program. Um, hello, hello. And I help a lot of my students make that jump from Canva to Adobe. So I want to talk to you guys today about why it's actually not nearly as hard to do as you might think it is. Um, I have three really good reasons as to why switching from Canva to Adobe is easier than you think. So I'm so glad you guys are here. Hi, Lexi. Um, I don't know what the like little wave button does, but I'm, I'm trying it out. I like it. So um, first and foremost, I want to talk about you don't need to be learning all three Adobe programs. So as professional graphic designers, we use three main programs, Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator. Um, Sometimes there are a few others that we'll use here and there, but I'd say 99.9% .9 of my work is done in those three programs. So those are what you would learn if you went to graphic design school. Hi, Isabel. Um, I am a huge proponent of learning one of those programs and getting really, really, really good at it. So all the, already I've taken out, <laughs> I've taken two thirds of the work that you think you might have to do off your plate, I want you to specialize in one program. I highly, highly, highly recommend starting with Illustrator. I think it's the easiest to like just dive into. It's the most versatile. You can design print graphics, you can design web graphics, you can design logos, branding, suites, things like that. You can design all of those things, whereas the other two programs, you can't necessarily do all of that. Um, it's really common for aspiring designers to think they need to start with Photoshop because that's the one that they've heard of just like in regular jargon like conversation um that's the one everybody like the whole general public knows about but that's actually the last one I recommend you learning um I only use Photoshop for like photo effects photo editing things like that I don't use it ever otherwise so I probably use it like two percent of the time for all of my work I highly recommend not starting with Photoshop. Um, so the other two would be InDesign and Illustrator. And like I said, I really believe that Illustrator is the most user-friendly, it's the most versatile. And once you really master one of them, A, you'll be able to design like a boatload of graphics. I probably use Illustrator for 90% of the client work that I produce. Um, and the other like nine I use in design and then one for Photoshop. So um, I highly recommend just really mastering one program because then you can design everything inside of it, get really comfortable in it, and you'll be able to like do it so much faster than if you kind of sort of are piecing together all three programs. You don't really know what the hell you're doing in any of them. I don't recommend that. Pick one program, get really good at it and make as much as you possibly can in that program. Then you can start adding on like other programs to start mastering as well. Um, but highly, highly, highly recommend just starting with Illustrator. That's why that's the program that I teach in Ditch the Degree Design School, my signature program for um, aspiring graphic designers who want to really do this professionally. So 
start with Illustrator, get really good at it. Um, the other thing is you don't need to learn all of the tools inside of that program. <laughs> I think especially when you're upgrading from Canva to Adobe, it's really easy to then open Illustrator and be like, whoa, <laughs> there's way too much going on in here. What the heck are all these programs? How do or tools? How do I do all of this? What are all these windows for? Why are there like 7,000 different things on the like little tool panels? I get that. It can be super overwhelming. Hi, Ronica. Say hey when you guys join. Hi, Rebecca. Um, so learning all the tools can be really, really, really overwhelming, but guess what? You actually don't need to. There are many tools that like I've played around with in Illustrator, but A, I've never, ever, ever needed them, and B, they're kind of complicated to use, so why would I use them? Um, so there, there's just so many things inside of that program that like more than likely you'll never need to know. So you need somebody to teach you the tools you actually need instead of just everything. You just don't need to learn everything inside that program. You need to learn the foundations, you need to learn the basics, then you can piece all of that together to create more intricate, intricate graphics and it's gonna make your workflow like a trillion and 10 times easier. Um, it's really easy also to like, as you're starting to learn, starting to like piece together YouTube tutorials that none of which actually like will be used again. Um, so I there have been tutorials that I've done, never ever use that those features again. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to learn Illustrator and I want you to learn the foundations, the tools that you actually need to know, the tools you'll use and repeat over and over again. I don't want you to learn like these really advanced like techniques and tutorials. You can add those on later. Those are great and fun and love that. But like you just need to learn the basics. You need to learn the foundations. You need to know where stuff is and how to piece it all together. It's once you do that, it's so much easier to really like deep dive into that program. Um, I also want you to know that like, you'll never ever need to know the entire program ever. <laughs> um, all of the Adobe programs are like so robust, which is why they're so intimidating to just like look into and start with, but you will never ever need to know that entire program. I guarantee you, I don't even come close to using half of all the things that like that program can do. But I also have been working as a graphic designer for five years, um, run a six figure agency. Like you don't need to learn the whole thing. You need to learn the appropriate tools. You need to learn the appropriate functions and you need to learn how to like um, piece it all together and learn all the like graphic design foundations to create um, high quality, high impact graphics. Does that make sense? Let me know if you guys have any questions as I'm going through any of these things. Um, I promise you that once you learn those things, switching is gonna be a breeze. And I know so many of you that are in Canva right now are really feeling restricted by the things you can and can't do inside that program. And I get that. Um, you make so much sense. Thank you, Rebecca, that means a lot. <laughs> so, um, I, I just want you guys to do, I want you to up level. I don't want you in Canva for the rest of your life, unless you're just designing like quick business graphics for, you know, Instagram or whatever. But if you really want to do this for real, if you want to do it for clients, if you want to make a living at it, if you want to be making six figures, I need you to up, up level to Adobe, learn Illustrator, learn the tools you actually need to know and not worry about all the rest of the noise. Um, so if this is you, I actually, if you haven't seen yet, I'm hosting a free live workshop. It's called Three Simple Shifts to Upgrade from Canva to Adobe without crying your way through YouTube tutorials, because that is key. I don't want you wasting time in YouTube. I want you to know exactly what you for real need to be doing in order to really master these programs and start making a living as a graphic designer. Well, I'll see you guys there. Let me know if you're coming and I will chat with you soon. Bye.